genetically modified crap. People pay more for food because protesters like these convince us that organic is better. Consider going organic as if your life depends on it. Please, everybody. <laughs> I have a shoe on top, baby. This person being arrested at the White House is Alexis Badenmeyer, political director of the Organic Consumers Association. You make poor parents feel bad that they can't afford to pay triple the cost to buy their kids organic food, which they've been f fooled into thinking is better. That's the safest with the fewest pesticides. And I Cost know- Cost three times as much? So there are certain things that are more expensive, like a dozen eggs, but the nutrition is a huge difference. No, it isn't. Studies find little difference. It's not worth the triple the price. It is, it's worth it. Look, if you wanna pay three times more, that's your right. But it's remarkable that a small group of scientifically illiterate people has convinced most Americans that organic is better and worse, convince the government to force all of us to pay more. Are GMOs making you sick? Now they're obsessing about bioengineered food. Companies who profit from altering DNA are declaring open season on all parts of nature. They say GMOs, genetically modified organisms, poison us. This is nonsense. Modifying DNA may sound creepy, but people have crossbred plants and animals for years. You think a poodle's natural? The corn we have today, there's nothing natural about that. What the native people ate, we'd find inedible. What an and, ignorant thing to say. Well, I've tried to eat the stuff. It's you've, nothing like you've modern tried corn. You've to eat those native dry, corn varieties. Native corn, those dry <laughs> kernels. I mean, you can mock me, but what's your answer? <laughs> You're just saying like indigenous corn is like somehow inferior because you've seen it dried and it has tiny little kernels. Yeah nearly in edible kernels. That's another myth of the industry. It's, but people like you believe that. Yes, and I also believe it's good that genetic modification now lets us alter nature more precisely. We can go directly to the DNA responsible. That gives us plants that taste better, plants more resistant to disease, even plants that save lives. Vitamin A deficiency is a silent killer. Each year, at least a half million children go blind or die for lack of this crucial micronutrient. But now genetic modification can stop that by adding vitamin A. Scientists did that to rice they call golden rice. I have heard of golden rice. That was a project that all of the chemical companies invested in. It was the big savior we were going to have Prevented a- Prevented blindness. Right. But because people in poor countries listen to groups like hers and become fearful that Americans want to poison them, activists have stopped golden rice research. Hundreds of environmental activists stormed a Philippines government test field. They uprooted and destroyed all the plants. Golden rice hasn't succeeded partly because scientifically ignorant fools like you have convinced the world that it's harmful when it isn't. I knew at a certain point you would resort to name calling, but it doesn't change the science on this. Golden rice may still succeed because the more educated skeptics now understand they were utterly wrong about GMOs. The New York Times points out that many environmental groups have quietly walked back their opposition. The science is clear, says a former opponent in the Wall Street Journal. They're perfectly safe. Hey, hey, no GMOs are the but the hardcore organic zealots will not be convinced. Badenmeier claims GMOs cause cancer. We're using more GMOs than ever. There's less cancer now, and lifespans keep increasing. Um, yeah, I don't, I don't know where you're getting your facts. Lifespans aren't increasing? One out of two of us, half of us will get cancer in our lifetime. Because we live long enough to get cancer. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. You don't think that's true? No, I don't. You don't think we're living longer? Compared to when, 100 years ago? Compared to 10 years ago, compared really? to 20 years ago. I'd like ago. to see your stats on that. Okay, here are the stats. The lifespan change in America over the past 100 years. The GMO issue just has not been investigated enough. It will never be investigated enough to satisfy these people. So when the National Academy of Sciences in their 600 page report calls GMOs safe, they're just making stuff up? Yeah. Yeah. She's convinced another group of ignorant people, 
politicians. Why don't we just put it on the package? The USDA's new rules for labeling genetically modified foods took effect today. Congress now has ruled that any food with GMOs must be labeled. Some politicians think that's free. It doesn't cost any more. This idea that this is, a, this is an effort that will raise food prices is ridiculous. But it does, by millions if not billions of dollars. The organic promoters are wrong on the costs and wrong on the science. But they've won the battle of public opinion. People willingly pay more for food that's no better. And overseas, people go blind and die because natural food zealots convince people that wonderful breakthroughs like GMOs are really seeds of death. It causes infertility, it causes immune system failure, it causes holes in the GI tract, it causes multiple organ system failure. Thanks for watching our video. If you enjoyed it, please hit the like button and subscribe to see our next one.